Hey and welcome to the Daily Man United News Show. Let's begin with our daily news. Manchester United are preparing to sell Marcus Rashford, said former replier. Manchester United could be preparing to sell Marcus Rashford. According to Frank McEvney, the club is activating his extension so they can move him on in the future. The former West Ham United striker spoke to Football Insider. He said the following, If they are activating that extension, they will sell him. They are not going to let him run that down and let him leave for nothing. He is too expensive a player for that. If they activate the extension, I would think that they are going to sell him. I like him as a player, but I was disappointed in him. I thought he took his eye off the ball. Football is first and foremost, and I think he is getting back to that now. I do not know if he would want to leave Man United. The United striker had been under plenty of criticism last season due to his below-par performances. He has stepped it up this season and has become one of United's most dangerous attackers under Eric Ten Hag. In 24 games, he has scored 11 goals and provided 3 assists. The 25-year-old will be looking to continue his form into the second half of the season. Manchester United forward Anthony Ilanga in demand ahead of a January transfer window. Manchester United star Anthony Ilanga is in demand ahead of the upcoming transfer window with game tie at the club hard to come by, according to the Daily Mail. The Sweden international had gone down the pecking order this season under Eric Ten Hag. His current contract expires in the summer of 2026. Thus, it is unlikely that the Old Trafford side will opt to sell him just yet. United already have a few youngsters in Ahmad Diallo and Hanna Baal Mejberi who are currently out on loan at Sunderland and Birmingham City, respectively. The Ivoirian and Tunisian are thriving in the current campaign. As a result, it could tempt Ilanga to opt for a move elsewhere for the time being to gain more experience. The 20-year-old has hardly gotten on the pitch in the last few fixtures. The Swedish national made his debut for the Red Devils in the 2021 campaign. In May, the youngster started for the Old Trafford side against Leicester City in the Premier League. We lost the match 2-1. Ilanga was a bit part player last season as well. However, with the departure of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, the youngster was given more chances in the first team. Ralf Ragnick's appointment saw the 20-year-old get regular minutes in the side. He made 27 appearances in all competitions for United in the previous campaign, scoring three goals and providing two assists. Ten Hag gave the Swedish national a run in the team at the start of the season. However, with the arrival of Anthony and Alejandro Garnacho's recent displays, he has been on the bench more often than not. However, with the Cristiano Ronaldo's departure from the Red Devils just before the start of the 2022 World Cup, our attacking options have been reduced. Thus, unless we bolster the front line in January, it would be wise to keep a hold of Ilanga for the rest of the campaign. Scott McTominay praises talented youngster Alejandro Garnacho. Manchester United star Scott McTominay has laid praise on a promising teenager Alejandro Garnacho. Both players are expected to start Manchester United's fourth round Carabao Cup clash against Burley. In the third round, Garnacho came off the bench and played a wondrous pass for McTominay to score, one of two assists the young Argentine provided. Garnacho also has two winning goals to his name and is beginning to establish himself as a first-team regular. McTominay is impressed but wants his young teammate to keep focused. Speaking to the club website via a fan's Q&A, McTominay lavished praise on Garnacho. He explained, He is a hell of a footballer and obviously for me, if he keeps his feet on the ground and keeps learning and keeps wanting to work hard, then he can do what he wants in football. He is such a talented player and for us, we have got to keep him humble and keep him working hard as well. Eric Ten Hag has also spoken of trying to keep Garnacho grounded and free of distractions, and currently, it seems to be working. Making the breakthrough to United's first team is only half the job. Staying there is the harder part, and Garnacho will have competition from other players for his spot. 
At the moment, with many first teamers just returning from the World Cup, Garnacho has had start and an opportunity to continue to show what he is capable of. McTominay's words show how highly the United squad rates him, and if he keeps on scoring winning goals, his admirers will only grow. Charlie Willens recalled from loan by Manchester United. Manchester United have recalled young talented Charlie Willens from his loan deal at Oldham Athletic. Willens, 20 year old, signed on loan with Oldham back in August on a deal scheduled to run until January 8. Oldham boss John Sheridan told the club website at the time, He is currently on the right path to have a fantastic career and I am sure he will thrive in a first team environment. He's got pace. He is versatile and I am looking forward to seeing him over the coming months for us. However, a managerial change saw Shredden replaced by David Answorth in late September. Manchester United and Oldham came to a mutual decision to end Willens loan early as he was not a part of the regular starting lineup. The Salford born talent was negatively impacted by a change of manager, a frequent problem for Manchester United's loanies. Wellens made six appearances in total for a combined 319 minutes, approximately 3.5 full games. It is expected that United will attempt to fix Wellens up with another loan deal. The Sun had reported in the summer that Wellens was set to join League Two side Crew Alexandra, but this did not come off. Wellens can play at both right back or in central midfield. He featured on the right of midfield twice for Oldham during his spell there. His contract at United runs until June 2023. Another loan will be valuable for him as he looks to kick on and build on his first loan stand. Real Madrid are confident of winning race for Jude Bellingham. Real Madrid are confident of beating Manchester United and Premier League rivals in the race for Jude Bellingham, report The Sun. Multiple outlets, including The Times and The Telegraph, reported Manchester United's hopes of signing Bellingham at the weekend, with the player expected to leave Borussia Dortmund next summer. Now, it's being claimed Real Madrid believe they have won the race to sign Jude Bellingham in a £100 million plus deal. No decision has yet been announced by Bellingham and nor is it expected until next summer. However, this is bad news for United chances. United's hopes are fairly dependent on a Champions League qualification. This won't be an issue for Real Madrid. Missing out on a Jude Bellingham would be a disappointment for United. It's already happened once, but this was always a long shot. This is by no means done yet. This could run until next summer. However, it's no surprise to see Real Madrid emerge as credible contenders. Let's face it, if United do miss out on Bellingham, seeing him move to Real Madrid really is not the worst option. In fact, it might be the best. We certainly do not want him to pitch up at a Premier League rival. He would be exactly what Liverpool need and would make City even more formidable. He would strengthen Chelsea, another side with the founts to pay up and we don't want to see that. If Bellingham heads to Spain, good luck to him, but don't count United out just yet. A new takeover could really help sway the deal financially while Eric Ten Hag is focused on making the club as an attractive destination as possible on the pitch. Man United have to pay 90 million euros to sign Juventus striker Dusan Vlahovic this winter. Manchester United have to pay 90 million euros to sign Dusan Vlahovic from Juventus during the January transfer window, Correr dello Sportic Lime. The Red Devils recently released Cristiano Ronaldo from his contract by mutual agreement and manager Eric Ten Hag has confirmed that the club are looking to sign a new striker. PSV Eindhoven's Cody Gagbo has been linked for a number of weeks, but there has also been speculation involving Vlahovic, who could leave Juventus in the space of 12 months. According to Correr dello Sport, Vlahovic is attracting plenty of interest from the Premier League ahead of January. United, Chelsea and Arsenal are all interested in signing him. The Bianconeri have not placed Vlahovic in the transfer market, 
but it's reported that it would take a package of around 90 million euros to price the 22-year-old away next month. Vlahovic is one of the best young strikers in world football. He netted a stunning 33 league goals for Fiorentina in 2021, but has struggled to replicate the same at Juventus. Despite this, he has scored in almost every other game for them. In our view, United must look at the prospect of signing him in January to improve their Champions League hopes. The Serbian is good with his positioning and awareness in and around the box and possess excellent finishing skills. He should capitalize on the clear-cut chances created for him at United. Marcus Rashford has had a good season under manager Eric Ten Hag with eight goals, but he has also been guilty of squandering multiple scoring opportunities with his poor finishing. Vlahovic would be a fantastic acquisition for United in January, but they must act fast to sign him with interest from Chelsea and Arsenal. The latter could be their main rivals. Manchester United reignite fresh talks with Barcelona midfielder Frankie de Jong. Barcelona star Frankie de Jong is back on the radar of Manchester United as the Red Devils have initiated a fresh contact with the 25-year-old about a transfer, according to Spanish outlet Mondo Deportivo via Barca Universal. The Old Trafford side are once again interested in bringing the Holland international to Manchester. In the recent transfer window, the club attempted to sign the midfielder. However, in the end, a deal failed to materialize. United pursued De Jong's signature for a cast period in the summer of 2022, but we then had to switch focus from the 25-year-old and signed Casimiro from Real Madrid instead. The Brazil international has been brilliant in his short time in Manchester after struggling to get into the Red Devils starting lineup initially. The 30-year-old has cemented his place in Eric Ten Hag's plans. De Jong has previously been managed by the Dutch manager during his Ajax days. In Amsterdam, the gaffer and the midfielder had a fruitful spell. Then, in 2019, the 25-year-old moved to Barcelona. The Holland international has become one of the best midfielders in Spain. He has turned into a brilliant box-to-box -box player. However, at the beginning under Xavi this season, the former Ajax star found it hard to get into the Catalan outfits team. But De Jong has established himself once again in the gaffer's plans at Barcelona. The 25-year-old also showcased his qualities at the 2022 World Cup and was pivotal for Luis van Gaal's team in Qatar as they made it to the quarter-finals. Casimiro and Eriksen are world-class talents. They will both turn 31 in February. Thus, in order to plan for the long term, a younger player is evidently required. Thus, it remains to be seen whether the Old Trafford side are able to entice De Jong to Manchester after another attempt. Kylian Mbappé preparing astonishing announcement to prompt Man United action. France's World Cup hat-trick scorer Kylian Mbappé could announce his exit from Paris Saint-Germain within weeks, setting Manchester United, Real Madrid, Chelsea and Liverpool on red alert. That is according to Spanish outlet Sport, who claimed that the 24-year-old is increasingly dissatisfied with the French club and their execution of the sporting project offer it to him so much so that he will announce his decision to switch clubs as soon as he returns to Paris. United have reportedly already expressed their interest and Wayne Rooney recently said tongues wagging by saying the Red Devils would be perfect for Mbappé. The France superstar only signed a new contract with PSG in the summer and it saw despite intense speculation that he was set to move to Madrid. Instead, he signed an £827,000 a week three-year deal to stay at the club, which even guaranteed him some board-level influence in Paris. However, some circles suggest that Mbappé is unhappy playing as the central striker in Christophe Galtier's 3-4-2-1 system and would prefer to enjoy a free role of the left at club level, as he does for the French national team. Sport also suggests that the World Cup Golden Boot winner wants to move in search of a new challenge in order to improve as a player. The report also mentions sporting ups and downs this season at PSG. 
Also, given that the club is unbeaten in all competitions under Galtier, it would appear that any unrest in the Mbappé camp exists at a more personal level, with Lionel Messi returning to his best for club and country, and Neymar also arguably outperforming Mbappé for his club, the France star might simply want to move to a club where he is the adopted talisman. Whether United could even entertain the thought of competing for the signature of such a high-earning player is up for debate and may be largely dependent on how the Red Devils' ownership situation ends up being resolved. PSG's determination to keep Mbappé paid off in the summer and it would be difficult to imagine the Qatari-owned club even listening to offers for a player they see as the future of their project, but Sport believes that these issues could be overcome with the superstar supposedly willing to take a pay cut and of the hope that PSG's owners would be open to making a gesture in negotiating a transfer below the 150 million euros mark. His camp have done their part, says Sport, by staying on at PSG until after the Qatar World Cup and should now be allowed to leave in the coming summer. Whatever the case is, it's clear that a lot would need to happen before Kylian Mbappé to Manchester United became a serious possibility. I will be uploading daily Man United news show, so keep your eyes on the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.